Hello, Jasmine here from Level Up Consulting with this week's project management tip of the week. And this week's tip is know your change embargo periods. So what is a change embargo period and why is it important? Well, it doesn't matter whether you're delivering a project in a big corporate organization or a medium or a small size organization, there will be times of the year where you can't deploy big change. Whether that's change to clients, to staff, to customers, there will be times of the year where the company says, please don't initiate anything new. Those times of year are usually in busy holiday periods where a lot of people are away, or there could be times of year where there's just lots of new change and new projects being delivered at the same time. Of course, being towards the end of the year, we know what's coming up. We are all hopefully taking some holidays and usually there is a Christmas embargo period for change. So that's what an embargo period is. How it impacts your project is that you might be hustling really, really hard to get things done by the end of the year. And when you go to deploy, you may be hit with a big brick wall or a big no deal from the organization. So know what those dates are and put your change requests in. And of course, deploy your changes if you're doing anything before those embargo dates. In any organization I've ever done a project in, those periods are usually a couple of weeks before a big holiday period. So you may only have a couple of weeks left to deliver your things by the end of the year. So know your embargo periods, get all of your work done before they finish, and then you can go and have a fantastic break with everybody else. And that's my project management tip of this week. I'll see you next time.